Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Atlas. This is your daily update for SafeMoon. In this video, I'm gonna actually go over just a couple of the basics behind EOS for the blockchain and WAX for the blockchain. We just saw the bridge take place for that of Ethereum with SafeMoon, but because this is being hinted at and it's already actually been discussed, but it's being hinted at as of it being really soon here because of the SafeMoon Twitter post, I wanna go ahead and just give you guys a little bit more of an idea of what that kind of value is gonna be added to the table. So if you guys are new to the channel, please do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button, definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm, it helps us in growing the community and lets me know that you appreciate the content and share this video on social media if you think that other people would find this to be helpful as well. So please keep in mind guys, I'm not a financial advisor, everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, it's my own research and I always encourage you guys to go do your own research and I'm on Twitter at CryptoAtlasYT, you can see my handle right below of the webcam there. So yeah, basically, let's go over some of the information in regards to the bridges, and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the basic facts for the day here towards the end of the video, like I typically do. And so just kind of moving on over here, as you guys can see, SafeMoon is currently ranked number 55 on the top 100 list according to Coin according to CoinGecko. But then if we take a look at EOS, EOS as a cryptocurrency is ranked at number 28 and WAX is actually ranked at number 193. So kind of uh, funny that we're SafeMoon is actually ranked above one of the cryptocurrency blockchains that it's trying to attach itself to but there is again value that comes into play with that and these things fluctuate where their rankings are and again i'm referencing more about the cryptocurrency itself not so much about the blockchain so let's go ahead and start with eos this is through eos.io eos.io fast flexible and for driven the state of blockchain privacy why eos.io <clears throat> EOSIO is a highly performant open source blockchain platform built to support and operate safe, compliant, and predictable digital infrastructure. Here is some information for you guys. Fast and efficient, the EOSIO platform provides industry-leading transaction speeds and a sub-second block time latency rate, providing the ability to support mission-critical applications, perform transactions at a lower cost through efficient resource management to yield greater benefits from digital integration. Highly configurable EOS IO is designed to allow for a higher degree of configurability, particularly valuable for the creation and management of programmable architectures. Deploy public, private, permissioned, or permissionless blockchain infrastructures. Implement custom, implement custom governance and business logic through executable smart contracts. For security and compliance, benefit from the latest in blockchain and web security verification standards with end-to-end -end authentication that enables superior data. <sighs> Sorry about that. And benefits from the latest in blockchain and web security verification standards with end-to-end -end authentication that enables superior data integrity. Builds to accommodate varying compliance and regulatory frameworks with a wide range of permissions. Developer focus. Whether you are a blockchain a novice or expert, you can quickly onboard and scale projects on EOS IO with help from our experts. Get access to our ever expanding sets of products, features, and tools, as well as extensive training courses to take your skills to the next level. In case you're wondering, yes, that was very annoying for me having that continue to shift over when I kept clicking back on it. Continuing on, so some of the other things that they got, training certifications, ultra, I mean, that's basically it actually for EOS. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on over to the WAX, to the WAX blockchain. Now the WAX blockchain looks like it's much more focused on the NFT space. The king of NFTs, this is on dot wax dot IO. Like literally, this is on the website on on dot wax dot IO for slash wax dash io i'll go ahead and include links to both of these in the description so you guys can go check them out the worldwide asset exchange wax is the world's leading decentralized video game and entertainment network we deliver the safest and most convenient way to create buy sell and trade virtual items nfts to anyone anywhere in the world wax the green nft blockchain environmental sustainability through high efficiency the wax blockchain is not only the easiest way to mint nfts but also the most environmentally friendly wax is 125,000 times more efficient than ethereum and a whole 320,000 times more efficient than the bitcoin network what is wax nft wax 
is the king of NFTs. Global brands trust Wax to launch their NFT sales, including Deadmau5, Atari, Tops, William Shatner, Capcom, and more. Technology built on Wax, build dApps, games, marketplaces, and more on Wax. The Wax developer Hive offers documentation, quick starts, code samples, and more. dApps on Wax, and you can also release your product at Wax Tokenomics and DeFi. Awesome to see the word being used here. The Wax tokenomic model marries the explosive growth of NFTs with the superior monetization capabilities of DeFi. It enables anyone who participates to earn rewards in the form of Ethereum tokens and Wax G governance tokens. All right, so one thing I wanna point out for you guys as well is with EOS, as far as the transaction fees go, it primarily uses based off of the capabilities of the devices that you're using off of. So there's not really much of a transaction fee. So when you look at something like the Ethereum blockchain, Ethereum blockchain is so prevalent because of the timing when it came into the market space and it essentially was an extension of Bitcoin with the additional factor of allowing smart contracts. The smart contracts has now been subdivided into all these other market spaces that we're seeing being delved into, such as the NFT space, like with WAX, you got decentralized finance uh, with lending based systems, such as like, for example, blockchain or Celsius, even though those are technically not decentralized, those are technically centralized. Um, but yeah, so anyways, just kind of continuing on. I think a decentralized version of that would be through like staking reward mechanics. So basically like the tokenomics of SafeMoon, you naturally receive additional for holding, but that's based off of other transactional values. And there's other ones um, that reward you over time. I forgot which one it was. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue on with some, excuse me, with some of the other info that's going on here for the day with SafeMoon. Saw this over on the subreddit, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm not a fan of Fortnite personally, but if you guys are, there is the island code. Somebody actually made a Fortnite Safe Moon gun game. And you can see just a little bit of a thumbnail image right here of what it looks like. Really cool with the background. They got like a little space station thing on the inside right there with a pool and just a really cool chill hangout zone couple of these images for you. Oh, that's cool. They got the little chart in the background there too. I like that. The price going up. All the little fog stuff going on. And yeah, it's a big moon base for you. Go check that out, my dudes. If you guys play Fortnite and you want to show your support, there is the code for that. Continuing on, the market is up today. Bitcoin itself is up 4%. Well, it was just up 4%. Just now dropped. Okay, what's it? It's up 2.8%. You guys can see most of the market is actually green, including BNB and Ethereum, both of which are heavily tied into that of SafeMoon now. So SafeMoon has also been seeing a bit of a climb. And as far as the barrier of entry to get into the top 1,000 wallets for SafeMoon, it is at 28.2 billion. The dominance is the same as one day ago for the top whale wallets. So it's at night, well, it's slightly less. One day ago it was at 19.33%, now it's at 19.32%. So very, very close to being the same thing. Take a look at the price right here. As you guys can see, it's at 30.51. A little bit of a climb that's going on right here, but we do have support at 3,000. Below that, at 27.50. Below that, it's going to be at 2,600. And a significant drop would pull us all the way back down to 2,000. On the way up, we have resistance being established at 3,200. Above that is going to be at 3750, and then above that is going to be hitting back at 4000 range. So that's going to go and be it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, please do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. It definitely helps us out again with the YouTube search algorithm and growing this community so other people can find this content. And feel free to share it on social media. And uh, I do have referral links in the description. So if you guys want to earn free cryptocurrencies or free stocks or both, then there you go. Go check out those links, guys. Let us know in the comments down below how you're feeling, if you're excited about this being extended over to the EOS and the WAX blockchains. Do you have cryptocurrencies over there? Do you plan on doing using the bridge yourself? All that kind of good stuff. Tell us in the comments below. Thank you guys so much again for being a part of this community, and I'll see you in the next episode.